great thing about living on a boat is that you can move and you can change your location anytime you like. So you get sick of your neighbors, you move. You get sick of the area, you move. You just move. You just keep going. The sense of freedom by being allowed to move wherever you want to go. You're not stuck. You get sick of London, leave London. You know, uh, we have the Islington Tunnel in London. The interesting thing about it is that it was actually built by Irishmen. It was built as a tunnel that needed to go through what is Angel. An interesting point, the longest escalator in the underground is Angel because Angel is on top of a hill and the underground is under the hill. But the canal goes under the same hill. But when you go down there, around this time of year, the air cools down moisture inside the tunnel and creates a fog just right in the middle of the tunnel. And I like to think that when you're going through you hear the noise of an engine just like this. And as you go through the tunnel and through that fog you start to hear the rhythm of the engine and you start to think, hang on a minute, there's somebody else in here with me. It's a great feeling. It's like remembering all of these people who toiled away with pickaxes, shovels and wheelbarrows to put this tunnel right through the middle of London. Irish people working with their hands. And you know there's a little bit of them still in there. These are men who worked hard and lived hard and died hard. Did you know that most of them were blown to bits? You can see the fish in the water. They're there, and sometimes you see them, and you can watch them. And they're interacting with other species. They're interacting with ducks above them. The ducks are interacting with the fish. It's amazing. And it's beautiful, it's peaceful and it requires you to slow down. We live in London and it's frenetic. There's constant movement, constant change, constant energy. And then you come here and you block it all out. But you have the choice. Don't open up to everyone. There's a lot of people out here who are living alone or living on boats because they're trying to get away from something and a lot of the time, it can be quite dark shit. Don't tell them anything about yourself. Just let them talk. Yeah, a few years back, uh, a suitcase was picked out of the canal. Now I was over at uh, Little Venice and I had pulled up, was there for two weeks and, and then I pulled away after my two week stint and literally hours after I pulled away the police had pulled a suitcase out of the canal. Inside that suitcase was a young Polish woman. You really need to hang out here in the morning. <laughs> I like to think it's the best time of the day. I mean, having said that, when you're on a boat for this length of time, meh, evenings are nice, afternoons are nice, but I think the morning is special. I think one of the reasons the morning is special is because nobody gets up in the morning. So it's unusual. But at the end of the day, it's still 
it generally is still. There is a reason for this. Once the air temperature rises, the wind picks up in the afternoon. That's why it's always calm in the evening and calm in the morning, and always a bit funny in the afternoon. I once watched a situation where there was a mommy and a, a daddy swan and cygnets. And Dad was having none of it. He wanted to clear the entire canal of every bird that was on it. The place was full of Canadian geese. They're almost the same size as a swan, of course, so they are a direct threat. But he puffed himself up huge, strided, big paddling away with these big strides as he made it quite clear he was not happy. He cleared the entire canal of all the Canadian geese. Within 20 meters, they were all out of the way and up on the bank. And once they were out on the bank, he was happy enough with that. But there was one bird that did not move, and that was the coot. That coots do not move for anybody. I mean, they're a fraction of the size, but they're dangerous. Coots own the place. They don't care. These guys are psychopaths. I mean, these guys are, you know, Sometimes I think I'm a coot. Oh, I never forget the morning I was born. It was on a cold and frosty winter's morn. The doctor says I was a chubby chap. And the nurse, she placed me on her lap. Ah, oh, she washed me all over, I remember. She powdered me so carefully, you see. And she laid me in the cradle by the fireside, in the little shed me mother made for me.